Warning! The following content contains rude and vulgar language and a good amount of swearing. And not the funny kind. Yo, hello and welcome. I'm Bad Luck and today we're gonna play some more Mars Warlogs. Observe. Observe. So, apparently we can observe. We're here with the mutants. Hi, muties. We gave them the tools they needed. What was man? Where are you from? We are the dust of abundance. Descendants all. Yeah, I figured you were from abundance. I was asking about all your pasts. It has been said we are the descendants. That is all. I gotta go. So, yeah. We're gonna go get the weapons out of the drilling wells. I mean, our family heirloom picture, something or another. In other words, the weapons we've stashed. Shh. I have a written order to come here and go down to clean. Show me. Shit, nobody tells me anything. Give me that note. I'll be needing it. Take the elevator. Welcome in the camp drilling well. Oh, wait. Hey, cool. You can come with me now. I know we've already been here and searched this thing thoroughly. But, well, if you're an idiot like me, you'd like to go around the things again. Alrighty. Spooby. Find the prisoners now. They say a bull queen attacked the Technomancer's disciple, and he was mad as hell. There we go. Wait, you took one down? Nice! Rogue and Drain Serum from his defeated enemy. Is lethal to the victim will affect Roy's reputation. Oh! I don't exactly want to do that. I don't want to do... Oh, man. No. Why... Why would you, though? So you basically just drain the life juice out of him. There's corpses here though. Ugh. There's a corpse there. Well, maybe I can do it from moles. That's okay. Wait. Wait. Where am I going? The wrong way! No, wait, wait. No, no, I am going the right way. Reading maps in this game is hard. There it is. There's the crate. That's where we hidden all of our secret stuff. What I need. 
Hey! We have what we need. Climb up. So great! I'm now armed. Yay! Careful now. So won't those people kind of tell on me? Oh man, I hope they don't. Don't tell on me, people. Still, there were three. Thingy took care of a guy over here. Oh, here he is. There you are. Thought you could get away by curling up, no? Nope. Still, all your stuff belongs to me. Roy, prison bully. That's really what it starts to look like. I mean, yeah, I help a lot of people, but I also kind of feel like a giant douche. Kind of a douche, he is. Right, though. Now that we've gone that, back to the greater! What do you want? Hi, Joe. There's a shitload of knives stashed around this place. You don't try to confiscate them? Way too many for us to do anything about it. You can turn any tiny tube or spoon into a weapon in a few minutes. So, we just ignore them. And you get this straight. If your prisoners made trouble, our own toys would calm things down fast. That's true. They've been there long? Where do the most come from? You know, this camp used to be a water well. And those bugs can smell water from miles away. It draws them, and they go around the facilities for the humidity. And if we don't chase them away, they end up piercing the conduits. Who runs this camp, though? Your boss. You know him well? The Technomancer Sean? Sorry, prisoner, but I'd rather not talk about that. He's not the kind of guy who's into gossip. That man looks really scary. Well, all the Technomancers are scary, actually. No matter where you find them. Show me what you have to sell. He can just do business with them. Including nail gun ammo. Hi. So, looks like you wanted to put that theory to the test. Bob told me. Don't sweat it. Only thing I want is to get out. I've tried. I failed. But I was on my own. So give. What's the plan? Hmm. I suppose you might be useful. I'm making sure we got enough water for the trip, and another prisoner's looking to see how we can get around the train's electrical security. We're going to be leaving by train, after creating a diversion just before, of course. With the help of the mutants, for example. Damn, you've pretty much thought of everything. All right. If I can help, you let me know. Thanks, Jay. Ooh, our posse's growing! Where to now? Oh yeah, we need to go up. Up, up. It's also... The blues. Eh. I must say, I do like it. I don't want to skip all the door openings. I think it gives atmosphere, you know? Anyway, to Camp 19. Welcome to Camp 19. Wait, the blues is down there. Oh yeah, let's talk to Bobbard. To Mr. Bob. Bobberoony. Hey, Bob. Bob! Come on! Where, where's Bob? He was up here, down there. Technically, we could have just gone around, but we. Roy Assassin's Creed. Oh, no, no, not that one. This one. Oh, next to his dead Pucci. Hey, Hi, Bob. The bare knuckle king. What do you want? 
You don't look well. You don't want to talk about your problems. Listen, it's all real nice, gotta admit. But can you tell me how it's any of your business? You're one of the friendlier yeah, guards. The only ones we can talk with here. Yeah, yeah, I bet. But as for worrying about me. You're not gonna need persuading, are you? I'm fine. So if you're bored, go for a walk. Anything. But get out of my face, okay? Come on, Bob. Hey, the bare knuckle king. You could tell what me. Do you want? It's about the dogs. I need a specialist. Hmm. Hang on, that rings a bell. Yeah, I think the cook was a vet before the war. A lot of the guys laugh at him about it. Kind of weird assignment, if he really is a vet. He must have said he likes food, and seen as we rarely need any vets around here. And it sure as hell ain't the prisoners doing the healing. That could get messy. We're still at war after all. Okay, thanks for the tip. I'll go see him. Thanks, Bob! Been here long? Been here a while, yeah. Man! Wasn't very good on the front, so they sent me here. It was a drilling well before. A big abundant site. But with the war, there weren't many people left to work here, of course. So they decided to make it a prisoner of war camp. Seeing as how it's a long way from the front and in the middle of nowhere, it's a good spot. For a POW camp, I guess there's worse. For us, on the other hand, it's a real pain in the ass. You don't want to talk about your problems. Listen, Come it's on. all real nice, gotta admit. But can you tell me how it's any of your business? Come on. All right, but not about me, okay? Come on, it'll do you good to talk things over. And you were saying? Huh. Got nothing to tell you. It's just horrible here. Always the same stuff to do. Always the same ugly faces. Middle of this fucking desert. I'm bored to death. First I get sent to the front. Been here to watch over a bunch of guys. I never asked to be a soldier. Okay, I make some money, but it's not like I could spend it here. What's it good for? Wife back home, maybe? Yeah. Things were good, just the two of us before the war. We were even thinking about having a kid. And then, really gets me not being with her. You can't get a transfer? You could get a pass or something. Maybe you could get transferred. Obvious you're not abundance. No such thing as passes. If I get sent anywhere, I'll be sent to the front. And I've seen my share of what's going down there. There's gotta be a way. Yeah. If I was to get the third in invalid, it's the only way. Um, I don't know how it works where you're from, but in Aurora, a guy does that and gets caught. Well, he's a goner. Here too. But they can't stop me from thinking it, right? I haven't done anything wrong yet. You could escape. If you could get out of here, you could go back to your wife. You crazy. And be on the run the rest of my life. Hey, listen up. I'd rather not have to repeat that kind of thing. I'm thinking about escaping. By taking the train. You insane? And I guess you want to go back home. What would I do there? I've thought of everything, and once we're out of here, we can split up on a shadow path and you can go back home. After all, we're closer to your place than ours. Your idea is absolutely insane. If you give us a hand, we've got an even better chance of pulling it off. You'll be a free man again. No, sorry, but count me out. I can't do something like that. Your call, but keep it all to yourself in that case, hmm? I'm only talking to you because I thought it might help. Well, who else is in on it? I didn't want to get anyone else involved. The more people who know, the riskier it gets. Go ahead, take me for an idiot. Tell me who's in on it right now or I guarantee you're going nowhere. Okay. Me and the kid, Innocence. I see. Okay. I won't say anything. You got my word. Hey, the bare knuckle king. You could still come want? with me, Bob. 
You look like someone just died. Come on, there's got to be something that could get you back home. Yeah. If I was to get declared an invalid, it's the only way. Um, I don't know how it works where you're from, but in Aurora, a guy does that and gets caught. Well, he's a goner. We heard this already. Too. I could break your arm. Would that work? You're sick? No. To get sent back home, I gotta get sick. For example, something they can't handle here. I would have liked to set it up with the doc, but if he turned me in, I could get shot. I might come up with a way to get you out of here. Who knows? I shouldn't have talked to you about it. If anyone finds out I want a dessert, it's my ass. Don't worry about it. Well, at least you found out where Bob's depressed. You found all the Bob's depressing things. Convince Bob to get uh, sent home. Yeah, well, I couldn't do that one. That's okay though. He he may be him, and I'ma be us. And together we may go to the mess hall to talk to a cook who's also a vet. I can't believe that the cook is the vet we need. Yo, solidarity. Hey, you seen a thing or two, right? You know there's a vet in the camp? Ah, haven't heard that for a while. Yeah, I'm a vet and I got stuck in front of the oven. So what? What do you want a vet for, eh? I don't know, maybe you heard. The dogs are going crazy and attacking everyone. There's these strange white patches on their bodies. They're sick. Shit. Okay. I'll need samples of the patches. And their saliva, too. And with what we got here to do the analysis with... Ugh. I'll need some materials. I'll go see the dog master. With a bit of luck, I'll be able to take some samples. Well, the doc said people might be able to get it. The doc doesn't know anything about animals. I understand why he's worried, but still, do each his job. If you bring me the samples, I should be able to put together a cure. Alright, I'll bring yeah. you the samples. Yay! Samples! How do we do that? Talk to the cook. I've already done that. See? We need to get samples. Collect samples from sick dogs. Are you a sick puppo? No. Is that... I can't see that. There was a sick puppo near Bob. Hey Bob! I need you again. I like this camp. Oh! Or, you know, the dog would come up to me. We need to hit more of those papos. Oh, hello. See, that's what I mean. I skipped some. Maybe there's more near Bob. Can I get a sample from your dog? No. Okay. It was just a question. I kind of feel bad having to hunt down these dogs, even though they're a little easy to kill. They can't really see in front of them, and all you have to do is roll behind them. Oh man. 
I almost pressed the finish off button. I think we might need to go to the other side to battle more sick puppos. Alrighty. There isn't any here. Ow, ow. There we go, you're not so tough when you're all, all alone, are you? But there are two puppos here. Alright. I'm gonna talk to the master of dogs. Tiny Papo. So, any news? It's getting worse here. Even though I isolated the dogs completely, I really think they're all gonna die anyway. Nothing for now. I'll come back when I know more. But we do know more. We have to find the Papos. And then, sadly, kill some Papos. I don't wanna do that, though. Oh, put your weapon away, you putz. So now all we have to do is find the spot where another dog will attack. Oh yeah. I'm hoping it's in here. It is! Righto. Last sample. I've, I've done that. Bring the ingredients to the vet. Eh. Open. I can't believe though that we have to run amok in a big desert sand pit. Killing dogs. I mean, that the cook is a vet that's actually not that bad, but killing puppos? I don't want to kill all the puppos. But, well, we have to kill these, and then from these we can f help the rest. That's how... What the heck was that all about? Oh, that was that's what we're all doing. Buddy, I need a favor. If it's food you want, get it yourself like everybody else. Well, there's that, but I still need your help. You don't know what you want? So what's the problem? I need something that'll make whoever eats it sick. You're the one who's sick. Why would I give you something like that? To help someone. Shit, Roy. 
you know what kind of a risk that is. We're both prisoners. The only thing they'll do is throw us in the hole. They're not gonna execute us. Unless they think we did it on purpose. Well, can't see anyone telling them, but... Anyway, get some mildew for me. That'll be enough to make your buddy sick. Mildew? Huh. Okay. Will do. I'll go get some. Th thanks for that. Won't it kill him? I mean, that stuff's poisonous. If you give him too much, you could. So be careful. Okay, we'll try to find some. Here, but I have the samples you need. There we go. Hope you can find a cure. Uh, not easy to find a cure with this type of infection. But we can make a vaccine for the other dogs. Come back and see me later. All right. Bring the ingredients to the vet. Oh, so that's mildew. Have we actually seen it around? I think I might have, but I never actually paid attention to any of it. Because of course not. That would have been incredibly useful. Though I don't think you could pick it all up. If it ain't oh, hello, part of a mission yet. Well, this isn't exactly a shaded area, now is it? That apparently is shaded enough. Oh, come on. The other shaded area that I can think of is uh, the showers. Though I might be super wrong though. Well, check anyway. Oh no! Yay! Mildew! Alright. Find Mildew. Will do. Done do. Bring it to the cook. Put it in his tube. Now we might end up killing Bob. Which I really don't want to do. Mm, but okay. Ip. There we go. This entire game is a lot of traveling about, isn't it? Which I don't mind, though. I like how this place looks. Here, I found some mildew. Great. Give me that shit, and I'll whip up what you need. Hmm. I get the impression there's a lot of it. I don't know if this is a great idea. If we get the dose wrong, he could die. Well, it's your call. So do I. Put all of it in? Um, half. Yeah, you're right. That might be a bit much. Half should do it. Yeah, it's ready. Watch it. The dish is hot. That shit looks almost tasty. <laughs> Thanks. Take the meal to Bob. Everyone, hope with me we don't kill Bob. Everyone, fingers crossed, toes crossed, for all my male viewers, anything else you can cross, cross it. For all the female viewers, disregard the previous message, it might be really, really wrong. Cross fingers, cross toes, cross pencils if you have them. And let's all chant, don't kill Bob, we don't kill Bob, we don't kill Bob. Bare knuckle king, what do you want? Found the answer to your problem. Could help me whip this up. It's supposed to make you sick. Not very nice, but should get you sent back home. You serious? But uh, how sick? It won't kill me, will it? I hope not. I'd hate myself, but apparently you should only be sick for a couple of days. Thanks, Roy. Never thought anybody would help me, let alone a prisoner. I'll eat it. Wish me luck. Bon appetit and uh, bon voyage. Did it come? Hey, the bare knuckles. Mm. 
Well, he's still standing there. So on the obvious side, we didn't kill Bob. Oh, that makes me feel happy. I was so worried. I wonder if you would have put all of it in. Would it have killed him? I hope not. But anyway, this is actually where I'm going to end it. We've done a, quite a lot. We've got our weapons. We killed a few Papos to make a cure for the Papos, mind you. We uh, poisoned Bob. Obviously. So yeah, next time we'll get some water and then we'll try to get out of this thing hole. But for now, I'd like to thank all you guys so much for watching. And I'd hope you'd all join me in the next time as well. Goodbye.